Hey, this is Wolf with the Milargo Network, and we are picking up right where we left off. We're going after the mission uh, Shielded Favors, and we're just uh, we're just picking up some easy prey right now. So, this is part three of our Borderlands 2 video walkthrough being played on Windows, and we are playing as Gage Necromancer. That runs through the dust. If all goes well, we should get to Sanctuary in a day's time. Hyperion hasn't diverted any troops from New Haven to pursue us, and a sandstorm has devoured their nearest frontier town. We just did- Oh! Damn it! Everyone, get away from the windows! I don't remember We've discovered one of Helena Pierce. Pierce's audio logs! She was a lieutenant in the Crimson Raiders, the anti-Hyperion resistance. I'd be very interested to know what became of her. If you could find the rest of those audio logs, I would be more than happy to pay you for them. I remember Helena Pierce. She was in, for those of you that didn't, haven't played Borderlands 1, she was in Borderlands 1. And, oh, shit. Level up. <laughs> okay. Uh, lost my train of thought. Um, Helena Pierce, she was in Borderlands 1, for those of you that haven't played it. And she was a pretty good, uh, she was a pretty good gal. Pretty good person. I liked her. She was a good character. Really nicely voiced. And she was in the original teaser trailer for Borderlands. And die, you son of a bitch. Leave guns here. Any guns in there? No. Uh, she was in the original teaser trailer for Borderlands 1. Um, I don't need this one. Drop. Close enough. Okay, so I have actually never been this way before in, uh, in Borderlands 2. I don't know why, I guess I was just so excited that I didn't even look back here. Usually, I'm a completionist, I like to explore, and we are going to be a completionist in this playthrough. Let's see, we have to use the elevator, shield of favors, what's this mission about? Let's check. Okay. Use the elevator. Sir Hammerlock has suggested that if you're expecting to leave Southern Shelf alive, You'll need a better shield. He wants you to head uh, to an abandoned shop and former Crimson Raider base known as Brewster's Shield Bashkers. Once you're there, you can purchase a better shield. Difficulty normal, level 3, optional mission. And if we complete it, we get a skin and 31 bucks and 160 XP. Not a bad deal. So, let's, uh, let's see if we can complete this. Oh, wait. We passed it. Passed it. So where is this place that we need to use an elevator? Maybe it's... Yeah, it's pro Oh, okay, it's probably up there. But, as always, uh, I'm gonna raid the entire area. By the way, a little trick I learned in Borderlands 1, if you hold E when you're pointing out a bunch of loot, you will pick up all the loot that you have the available space for. Without having to, you know, press E and look at each item. Or spam the E button. Alright, here's our switch. Let's pull it. Of course, I forgot. The safe house power box stopped working after Claptrap attempted to integrate with it. Lovely. Ah, uh, what a kidder! Just get a new fuse for the elevator and ignore what he said about that power box. Disgusting. <laughs> well, everybody's got something for me to do, and um, nothing's ever easy. So we are currently looking for a uh, fuse for the shielded. Fav I mean, uh, Shielded Favors mission. The elevator's, uh, not functioning because, uh, Cloud Trap attempts at fornication. Uh, where the hell are these enemies at? I thought I saw something glow red. Oh, here we go. Yeah! Oh, shit. I forgot about the explosion radius. I thought it was closer than that. There we go. Second win! Psycho. Oh, there he is. Nice. I love elemental weapons in Borderlands 2. I loved them in Borderlands 1, but uh, there's so much more to them in um, in this installment of Borderlands. It's a much more in-depth game. It doesn't lose any of the style, though. You can just listen to that music. It's some good music. Listen here. There we go. Cash and... 
I haven't really had a problem with cash in Borderlands 2. I didn't have a problem in Borderlands 1. I had more cash than I knew what to do with. Uh, you have more cash than you know what to do with in this game. Also, at least that's what I found in my first playthrough, um, which I have completed a playthrough between the first part and the second part. Couldn't resist, but what the fuck am I gonna do about this electrical fence? How the hell did that get all the way over to me? Help, I needed that. Okay. Right, minimap displays the, uh, the targets on the map and all your enemies. Okay, we gotta go up here. Anyway, Borderlands 2 is much, much more in depth. Yet, there's not a, a great use for money in this, in this game. I never really ran out. The best guns that I found were always. <laughs> Uh, as loot, I never found many good weapons as shields. What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> I never found many good weapons in stores. I was just shooting. Fortified. Treasure chest. Treasure chests are among the best places to find the rarest loot. The colors indicate the rarity of an item. The color scale uh, from least uh, rare to most rare goes white, green, blue, purple, and orange. And that's disgusting. Uh, that's not too bad. I'll stick with what I have for now, actually. We'll just sell these items later. My inventory is now full. Great. Uh, let's dump the... stuff that costs the least. I, I guess the gearbox pack. No, no, no. This one, this one costs the least. Okay. We'll dump this. But... It's, it wasn't it wasn't worth the gearbox pack. I, I'm sorry. It sucks. Fuck me, right? For, for getting the limited edition or pre-ordering. No, I, it's, it's a bad pack. I'm sorry. Okay, we got the fuse. Wonderful. Uh, I mean, uh, personally, I, I prefer... I prefer escalators, but... If I, if I gotta ride the elevator, I'll take it. Is this a flag? Oh, that, that's right. That's a flag of Captain Flint. The loot's more refined, too. But, back to what I was talking about in the last part. Planet Side 2. Got the elevator working, have you? Great. Now, simply ascend to the safe house and buy a shield. This used to be a sizable hub for the resistance until everyone heard the Hyperion army approaching and fled to Sanctuary. Spins. Fancy. It's like Battlefield 2142. Except, uh, more futuristic. And with factions and many, many more players. Okay, let's, let's loot the place first. How are we gonna have money to buy a shield if we don't loot it? That's alright, we can sell some items too. Change station. If you play Kesha, you're a dead box. I'll shoot you myself. Oh, it's just a back porch. Okay, no one's manning this place. I, I guess that makes sense from what Hammerlock told me. Hope you've had your shots. Dead. Isn't he dead? From the, uh... No, wait. Uh, n never mind. None of that stuff ever happened. My mistake. So, don't need this. Um... Fire rate, 5.1, 2.0. Deals explosive damage, 30, 24, 24 accurate. This will sell this one. Woeful Rocketeer, 2 ammo per shot, I don't like that. Shields. Lower than what we have, lower than what we have, lower than what we have, low. Lower, okay. We need none of that. Let's buy something. We gotta buy something, right? Try not yeah, to die. we gotta purchase a shield. What a shitty side quest. Unless we get our... Yeah, we get our money back. Never mind. Well done. Now if you could return to Lylesburg. Yeah, I know the drill. Turn in the quest. You think I'm not going to turn in the quest? I want my money back. Okay. Let's uh, yeah, let's sell that shield we just exchanged. I'll save your golden life. I'll save your golden life. You need. We don't need elevators. We're on Pandora. We do things the hard way. Kidding. That wasn't hard. That was actually easier and took less time. Fall damage is gone. For those of you that haven't watched the first part or haven't uh, watched anything else with the borderlands. Um, people have mixed opinions on the fall damage being gone. I don't mind it. 
I haven't really noticed it, actually. Uh, not in any negative ways, or any ways where I felt like it was cheating. Hmm. That's certainly an interesting looking bulldozer. Okay, Sir Ham. You know, have you ever noticed that there's basically no vehicles working on Pandora? Aside from bandit cars. Buy a shield. You got a new shield if it works. Uh, your life on Pandora will be much easier. If it doesn't work, they'll find out real quick. Protection from bullets, ho! Cool licorice whip. Is this, um. Yeah, Mechromancer skin. Cool. Midgets and bully mogs and vault hunters. Oh my! Oh, we got a new head for this one. Would you like to do battle with a midget riding piggyback on a bully Fuck mong? Fuck yeah. If the answer is yes, please proceed to the southern shelf and defeat Midgemong for me. If the answer is no, you are sad that I have no desire to do battle. <laughs> Midgemong. A midget and a bully mog. An unlikely couple? Maybe so. Coming this summer. No, actually, that would be a better TV show. An unlikely couple uh, on ABC uh, weeknights. New show. A midget and a bully mog uh, are sharing an apartment, and they both work at a grocery store. Uh, copyrighted. Don't try to steal it. Which way are we supposed to go? Midget mog. Oh, wow. So we've got to go all the way here. Alright, let's make our way that, uh, that direction. And once we complete it and turn it in, we'll, uh, we'll apply the licorice whip. Skin customization. No fall damage! Yeah! And I say it like I earned it. I didn't earn a damn thing. It's not special. Everybody has no fall damage. Oh, look at those wind effects. Remember when that was top of the line? Ooh, look at the snow effects of the sunlight. Anyway. Oh, well, that was top of the line. Wind effects. It was, it was the most amazing thing ever. Crap, bully mog. A midget couldn't ride this one. It's too small. Even for a midget. Oh, that's convenient. We got more bully mogs. Adult bully mog. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Another adult bully mog. Critical hit, bitch. Oh, yeah. Three of them. Grenade. Out. That did absolutely nothing. Thanks a lot. That's zero. Zero. Critical. It's more like it. Critical. Shit. Oh, god damn it. Oh, this isn't good. Come on, come on. Oh, no, we, we got this. Oh, fuck, another one. Fuck that, I'm not reloading. Okay. I hate it that this only has three bullets in the damn clip. Whatever this is called, it's, it's not really a clip. Thank God he didn't die before we killed him. I mean, b before he went down. On I I shit. <laughs> Thank God he didn't die before we went down, I meant to say. Gage, he's not that kind of girl. Oh, killing midgets, she's that kind of girl. Southern Shelf, here we come. Midget moan. What the hell going on here? Oh, there's two of them. Ah, but like I was saying, remember when wind... I was going over that uh, huge um, cliff? That was top of the line stuff. I remember that day. Shit! Oh, God! So, Gage has a little hammer. It seems to do nothing whatsoever. That's right, you can improve me like I forgot about that. This is my last uh, playthrough is at zero. Dear God. God. Oh no. Time to get serious. Three health left. This is my last playthrough was at zero. I'm used to the melee doing a lot more. And kind of being a main feature of the character. Which it's certainly not a main feature of Necromancer. You know, her, uh, her little robot friend is it? I didn't even see him. He's the main feature of that. I got this. He, he's no, he's not dead. I am amazing. Not quite. You see, I'm the one playing you, so actually, we both suck. What am I saying? We got taken down by a bully mog. Bullets are slow in this gun. That's another aspect they don't tell you about. 
bullet velocity. This gun has terrible bullet velocity, but it's elemental. And if my Pokemon skills are right, fire beats ice, not water. Luckily, this isn't water world, it's ice world. Or well, Wally world, no, it's ice world. Yeah, automatic second win. We got a badass rank too. Money is raining from the sky. And so are dead rack bodies. I can take you down, boy. Wait, wait, stop coming so quickly. Good, I can't take you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. So, I'm curious, can you destroy the rocks? Yes, you can. So, just like Left 4 Dead, you can, uh, you can shoot the rocks at the Bully Mog's throw, and you know what? These kind of remind me of tanks. Oh god, they can run faster than me, too. You know what? I haven't even checked my ammo. Oh, okay, we're doing fine on ammo. Oh, take that, you son of a bitch. Oh, shoot! There's more! I didn't mean what I said at all. Oh, that was smooth. He shot the rock right out of the sky. Dump Bully Mog down. Oh, God. Let's see him there. I knew he was here, but I just didn't, I didn't think about him. So, Bully Mog Slender, I guess, uh, every other Bully Mog, even adult Bully Mogs, they can't, uh, they can't throw anything? Because I thought they could. 38. Reserve rifle. I wonder what that means. Like, what is that, what is that prefix there for? Reserve. Does it mean something? pretty well on ammo so far. We gotta kind of, uh, kind of save our ammunition for, uh, Midget Mog or uh, Bully Jet, whatever his name was. Let's see if we can <gasps> take him down. Oh, oh, here, okay. Uh, we got some trouble, actually. More Bully Mogs. I was not expecting this. And there's Slingers, too. You know, they should uh, they should have an option where they can sling fecal matter. That'd be great. Instead of slinging rocks, they sling their own feces, like uh, Sir Hammerlock told me. Don't make level up, son of a bitch. Take that, you bully mog. Wait a second, we've got skill points. Summon death trap. Action skill. Press F to summon death trap to fight for you. I, I don't want him to fight my battles for me. I can fight. Close enough. Your bullets that hit walls, rather no. It's full. You regenerate health. Nah. More pep increases your chances of no. Hmm. I'm new, so if I'm making any mistakes here, please, uh, please let me know. I haven't played as much Necromancer before. Killing an enemy or fully emptying your gun's magazine while in combat grants you a stack of anarchy. Anarchy. Uh, what is that? For every stack of anarchy, you gain bonus gun damage. Okay. I saw a little loophole on Reddit. I'll have to look at that again, but... Anarchy looks pretty damn powerful from what I've been reading. Okay. Oh, wait, I have no skill points. But we have badass tokens. Let's redeem our token. You know, we'll take, uh... Shield recharge delay. Back to the game. Bully mark. Okay, we're not gonna relate. We're just gonna be more of a badass. And use what's in our pistol. I don't even need to fire again. My bullets are working for me. Oh fuck! I, I, I couldn't even hear him. Sound in this game is great, but sometimes you, you just can't hear what's around you. Not that that really matters. Except if you're gonna be a little bitch about whatever killed you like I'm being. Rax. Hate Rack. Except the giant Rack, those are just fun. So where the hell's Midget Mog? He's gotta be around here someplace. I'm thorough, as you guys have noticed when it comes to loot. Uh, I've found some great things in rack piles in Borderlands 1. I guess that's why I'm so paranoid that I'm missing something every time I walk past a 
anything that has loot or the potential to have loot in it. My best weapon last playthrough I found in it. Portal party. Yeah, Hyperion sniper rifle. Oh shit. So who is the sniper class anyway? Is it, is it zero or? Uh, I think it was zero. I don't know why I can't even remember that. Guess I've been playing enough. I mean, I played Borderlands 2 for shit years since it came out. Multiplayer, single player, you name it, I was addicted. I love Borderlands 2 even more, don't get me wrong. I sure do. Oops, just have been distracted with so many other fantastic releases, and why does my aim suck so much? Wait, where is Anarchy anyway? What the fuck? Oh, I thought he was dead. I play, I pay less attention in, uh, in Borderlands 2 than I pay in Need for Speed. Most Wanted. And you guys will get that reference if you, uh, watch those videos. So what we'll update it anyway. You know what? I forgot to use my skill. I forgot to summon Death Trap. The hell's wrong with me? Why am I shooting things that aren't attacking me? Is he? No, he's not attacking me yet. Boom. Non headshot. Stupid rack. Oh shit. Uh, not yet. I'm not ready. Oh yeah! Death trap time, bitches! Let's see what this baby does. Stop flying around and kill something, pansy. What fur? The hell? Oh, that's death trap. Okay. Bad hair day. Oh shit! It's a robot Wolverine. Nice. You know what? I should have called myself Minion. Minion's death trap. Minion has a death trap. That would have been awesome. So he doesn't do that much damage as of yet, but he's a goddamn perfect distraction. And I'm wondering if he just fades away or if he explodes when his health goes all the way down. What's this? 73, not that bad. Let's take a look at him. Oh, you are beautiful. Hello. Oh, he just, he just, uh, teleports into the ground like the genie from Aladdin. If the genie from Aladdin did that, I don't know. I just remember a, a genie somewhere doing that. So where the hell is this ninja anyway? Oh, he's all the way over here. Well, that has been part three of our Borderlands 2 video walkthrough. As, uh, as you guys know, we're playing this on the Windows, and this playthrough is featuring Gage, Necromancer, and that'll fetch a pretty penny, a pretty dollar bill. Irregardless, thank you for watching. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe uh, to our channel if you want to see more videos like this one. And check back, uh, check back soon for part four of our Borderlands 2 video walkthrough where we kick Minion Mog's ass. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. For fuck's sake. Die. Goddamn rack.